Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to simplify or simplifying algebraic fractions. So here's two examples of algebraic fractions, okay, and both of these can be cancelled or simplified. All right. So let's have a look at this one on the left hand side and then this one on the right hand side. Now, whenever you simplify algebraic fractions, my tip is to factorize um, the top line or the numerator, factorize to the denominator or whichever one's possible, and then look for things that will cancel out with each other. Okay. Now, if I look at this one on the left hand side, the top line can't be factorized. X plus three is just X plus three. However, the bottom line, the denominator, can be factorized. You've got two X plus six. So let's factorize this bottom line. Okay, this denominator. So you've got X plus three on the numerator over. Now 2x plus 6, well, uh, 2 is going to come out as a common factor, so you're going to do 2 bracket x plus 3. Now as you'll notice, you've got this, uh, the numerator is x plus 3, and the denominator is 2 bracket x plus 3. So this x plus 3 will cancel with this x plus 3. Um, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1, so you're going to get 1 over 2, which is a half. Okay. Let's have a look at this algebraic fraction now. Okay, you've got 4x plus 2y over 6x plus 3y. Uh, looking at this, the top line would factorize. You could take 2 out of the new, uh, 2 out of here, and the bottom line, 6x plus 3, you could take 3 out as a common factor. So let's factorize the top line and then factorize the bottom line. So factorizing the top line, you would get 2 bracket 2x plus y. So because 4x divided by 2 is 2x and 2y divided by x or by 2 is y, and then over, take 3 out as a common factor, 3 bracket 2x plus y. Again, you'll notice that you've got the 2x plus y and the 2x plus y. Well, they will cancel out, so you're left with 2 over 3, which is 2 thirds. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, uh, looking at this algebraic fraction, we've got x squared plus 5x plus 4 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. Uh, these are two quadratics, so let's factorize both of them. So on the top line, you're going to get x plus 4, x plus 1, and on the denominator, okay, if you want to see how to add, remember what there's a video on expanding quadratics in C1, and then factorize the denominator, so you're going to get um, x plus 4, x plus 4. Okay, now we're going to look for things to cancel out. This bracket, x plus 4, will cancel with this bracket, x plus 4. So we'll be left with our answer, x plus 1 over x plus 4. And that's our answer. Let's look at another example. Okay, in this question we've got x squared minus 25 over 10x plus 50. Uh, so let's factorise the top line and the bottom line. Uh, top line, uh, we've got difference between two squares. You've got the x squared and minus 25. So that's be, remember, you'll get, for that, you'll get x minus 5, x plus 5, difference between two squares. Over, uh, the bottom line, 10 comes out as a common factor. So you're going to get x plus 5, 10x plus 5. And again, here you'll notice that this cancels with this. So your answer will be x minus 5, over 10. You could also write that if you wanted as a tenth bracket x minus 5. I personally though would probably write it in this format here on the left hand side. Okay and our last example is to simplify a half x plus 1 over a third x plus 2 thirds. Now looking at this, it doesn't look as obvious that this can factorise. But the thing that I would look at is, I don't really like the coefficients of x on the top line and the bottom line. You've got a half and a third. Let's make these into uh, integers. So remember on a fraction, you times the top and the bottom by the same number, and it'll still be an equivalent fraction. So, um, I the top line, I think I would like to multiply it by 2, because then that would give me x plus 2. But that wouldn't really work for the bottom line because if you times the bottom line by 2, you're going to get 2 thirds, x plus 4 thirds. Um, so you want to go for a different number. You'd like to times the bottom number, a line by 3. That would be a nice number to times that by. So because you'd like to times the top line by 2 and the bottom line by 3, you're going to have to go for a common multiple of those. So a common multiple of 2 and 3. Let's go for 6. Okay. So if we times the top line by 6 and the bottom line by 6, okay, you would get a um, half x times 6 would be... 3x because a half times 6 is 3 plus 1 times 6 is 6 over uh, let's times the bottom line by 6 so a third times 6 well a third times 6 is 2 so you're going to get 2x plus 2 thirds times 6 2 thirds of 6 is 4 
Then let's just factorise these, take 3 out of the top line, 2 out of the bottom line. So taking 3 out of the top line would give you 3 bracket x plus 2 over to 2 out of the bottom line. Uh, 2 bracket x plus 2. Oh, look, these cancel, so your answer will be 3 over 2. Okay, and that's it. That's how you simplify algebraic fractions.